But what's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. You've been asking for it, you've been waiting for it nonstop. Today we're gonna be comparing the Glorious PC Gaming Race Model O to the Final Mouse Ninja Air 58. Each have their own individual features and uniqueness to them, uh, but both extremely lightweight gaming mouses on the market. So we'll go over it all for you guys today. Pros and cons, features of each, the whole breakdown comparison, in case you wanna check it out. First up, shape and design. This simple ambidextrous shape is used by many manufacturers. It isn't patented or anything, which is why it's a pretty common mouse design. And both provide a nice grip in your hand. And where they both start to shed the weight is in their honeycomb cutout in the shell of the mouse triggering all your trypophobia. With the Air 58 being lighter at 58 grams versus the 67 and 68 grams of the Model O, you'll notice the cutout pattern starts to change a bit for Final Mouse, where they also have cutouts on the sides. This is where those eight less grams come into play smoothly. Both feature a DPI changing button beneath the scroll wheel and the forward and backward button on the left sides. And guess what? Despite a relatively similar appearance, that's about all they have in common. Well, the sensor, they both use the PMW 3360 Pixar. Uh, more on the sensor in a bit, but yeah, that's where the similarities end, right there. Going along with visuals, the Air 58 came in a cherry blossom red and cherry blossom blue. Two unique colors that are nice, but aren't really two colors that would fit into most people's setup. Model O comes in four different options, black and white, both available in either a glossy or a matte finish. The matte finishes are the 60 gram version and the glossy are the 68 grams. With that said, obviously black and white is more desk setup friendly, and Glorious gives you the option to pick your finish. Matte is going to be the more common one, while Glossy is going to provide more of a nice natural grip in your hand. Then going along with that, another factor of visual flair comes with the integrated RGB lighting on the Model O. Now, this isn't necessary by any means for a gaming mouse, but it is nice for those who, you know, want to take that next step and match it to the rest of your peripherals. And if you want, you can just always disable it. Both of the sides have a light strip going down, and the scroll wheel is illuminated as well. Speaking of the scroll wheel, let's move on to branding, because the Air 58 has a haiku carved into every scroll wheel. It's super thin, like the rubber coating here is not sufficient at all in comparison. And many users have even reported that their scroll wheels are faulty. Uh, that's a whole other story. Then below that, on the right click, you have the Ninja Air 58 branding, despite Final Mouse literally promising there would be no visual branding. For Glorious, the Model O has a super satisfying scroll wheel with these deep ridges in the rubber coating, and thankfully nothing carved into it. The only visual branding is on the sides with the bearded man on the left and a very tiny Glorious typeface on the right. And before we flip it over, another big thing with these mouses are the lightweight cord. Paracord mods are a desirable feature on a mouse and both are immediately noticeably lighter in your hand because of it. Final Mouse has their Phantom cord and Glorious has their Ascended cord. Essentially, having these lightweight cables then eliminate any potential snagging or tension because of the mouse on your desk, and it just makes it feel wireless, honestly. However, here I'm giving the edge to Model O, because not only is it thicker, which some people might think is a bad thing, but the thicker cable here is going to help keep its shape while still being feather light. And the thinner Phantom cord already started to bunch up and kind of kink in some areas just from my limited testing back in January. Not a huge deal, but it, since it's a comparison video, I'm going to point it out. And despite purposely twisting and bending the ascent cord, as you can see, it still kept its shape. Let's flip it over now and talk about mouse feet. We have these hyperglide-like feet on the Model O called G-Skates. This gives us a really nice, smooth gliding experience on your mouse pad. You couple that with your lightweight body, it's really a nice combo. Final Mouse uses standard Teflon feet. Then to the sensor, again, both use the PMW3360, a fine trusted sensor, but each tweak to their own mouse. The Air 58 is 400 to 3200 DPI, while the Model O is 400 to 12,000, but with a 1000 Hertz pulling rate, where the Air 58 is limited to just 500 Hertz. Kind of odd, a mouse in 2019 is still maxed out at 500. On both mice, again, you can use the DPI switcher button to toggle between the levels with four preset DPIs on the final mouse and six customizable on the Model O. Final Mouse does not have any software to allow you to change the DPI to your liking, but there is third-party software called DM1 that you can use to change the levels. Uh, Glorious does have their own software where you can record macros, customize the six buttons on the mouse to B macros, multimedia controls, keystrokes, etc., adjust the lighting, DPI, liftoff distance, you know, uh, things a mouse should have control over to be customized. It may not be, you know, the most in-depth software I've seen, but at least they have something. So wrapping it all up from the breakdown of the features, the only real advantage the Air 58 has is that it is technically lighter at 58 grams, while the Model O is 67 and 68. Can you tell that nine gram difference in your hand? No, it's nine grams. So once you're getting into 
upper 50s and 60s, you really cannot physically feel that difference. The main breakdown here in the end is gonna be two things, the company and the price. This launched for $90 while this was 50 and 60. 50 for the matte, 60 for the glossy finish. Obviously this has more features while still being, you know, very lightweight. RGB lighting, the cord, the, the G skates on the back for 50 or 60 bucks while this was 90. The issue was these sold out extremely fast because Final Mouse didn't have enough mouses in the end to send out. So people were buying these and selling them to this day even still on eBay and Amazon for 250. That's exactly what I did with my Cherry Blossom red one. I don't have that. I bought it for 90, sold it for 250. Uh, so in the end, you can't really buy these anymore. While these brand new, you have four options to pick from. And I'll bring it up again, the short version of my rant for my Final Mouse uh, review, the TLDR. When it comes down to a company, you can respect the uh, glorious PC gaming race for putting out a fantastic mouse like this for such a budget-friendly, affordable price. That is great. They easily could have charged double for this, but they didn't. My issue with Final Mouse is just them. The TLDR, like I said before, they lied about this mouse. They said it was gonna be completely revolutionary, completely different from their previous mouses, but it wasn't. It was the same thing. They also promised there would be absolutely no branding on it. And we have the Ninja Air 58. Um, then breaking down that after it, they missed their shipping window by nearly two months. Then they blamed that on the consumers for sending so many emails to them asking where their mouse is. And they said they had to take people out of the shipping warehouse to answer emails. That's not how it works. And they went on this whole crazy rant on Twitter after the backlash. Uh, they put their Twitter private. They made their store private, their website private, so only people that they want can buy their upcoming mouses. Very childish and immature. Like, what? Then recently they, you know, made their Twitter public again and they go on this whole free thinker, you gotta live your life through the, the waves and the air and uh, their next hummingbird mouse is gonna be 40 grams, but they said they weren't making mouses anymore, they were just making sensors. In the end, $50 for the Model O, a great mouse. This mouse you can't get anymore unless you wanna spend 250 on Amazon and quite frankly, that is 100% not worth it. When you're gaming, they both feel fantastic because they're so lightweight. You know, the whole got the honeycomb texture, while it might be triggering you a little bit, yes, it helps cut down the weight. And when you're gaming, that feels awesome because it is so lightweight. For FPS gamers and stuff out there, you're really gonna like this. But like I said, 50 bucks for the Model O and 250 plus for uh, Air 58. And it's a crappy company versus a respected one who charged a very affordable price. And that's just the breakdown comparison. You may not like what I'm saying, but it's the truth. And you can't really deny that. You can just go on Final Mouse's Twitter and uh, see for yourself how they just go out on these rants and act like 10 year old children. That'll wrap it up for my review comparison. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, I'll still put the links down below if you guys wanna check them out. These are gonna sell very fast, very quickly. If you like this comparison, give it a double thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.